And here we are, the Australian Lacrosse Network for the men's 1-2 game here at the beautiful Memorial, Women's Memorial, playing fields. Captains just going through their last uh, forays with the uh, officials, coin tosses, and then uh, we will be being introduced by Mr. Uh, Peter Greenhouse, who has done a fantastic job here, and we'll throw over to him as soon as we can to introduce these teams. Teams going through the last, but I am joined uh, by the man with the sexiest voice in uh, in Australian lacrosse, Mr. Chris Marsh. Welcome aboard again, mate. Uh, grand final day. Well, thanks, Tony. It's great to be here again. It was uh, a ripper day yesterday, just a classic for a semi-final, wasn't it? And today, look at these two teams. They've both come out. They've warmed up really well out here. The ball's moving nicely. You know, they're putting some shots on goals. It's really going to be a hard one to pick today. I think it's going to be a ripper, an absolute ripper. And, Marshy, you would have been sitting there watching that last game between the women. What a cracking game that was. That's a great uh, uh, prelude to this game. And I, I don't think it's going to be much different, to be honest. No, I, I don't think so at all. You know, there was... Victoria went into the final quarter in that one, one goal up, and then as they come back, you know, and it was just a gutsy effort uh, on both sides there. And, you know, ASA haven't won that since 2010, I believe, was the last time. Yeah, they 2010 for the women, 2014 for the men. That's right. So, you know, look, uh, I'm going to go with my heart on this one, and I'm going to hope the uh, Victorians get up and uh, get over SA. We can't, uh, can't let just have the double on this one, mate. But, um, look, it's... I'm just really excited to see how we go. Well, Victoria, that'll be five in a row if they do get up, and they've been dominant in the uh, in the past uh, few years. Obviously, we didn't play in 21 and 20, so uh, that's over nearly a, a decade that uh, they've been dominant. And uh, South Australia, though, uh, finishing top of the pool. They've been dominant all week. They uh, got up over uh, over uh, WA 11-7, and then Vic, uh, was it 7-4, 7-3, I think, uh, but, uh, and what do you, what do you reckon matchups for the day, mate? Uh, I'm always big on goalies in these games. They, they've got to stand up. Yeah, look, the goalies are going to be just huge here. And uh, the team that can just shift the goalies, move that ball across, uh, to, you know, to the weak side and come in and, and try and shift that goalie. I think that's going to be really important. The face-offs are going to be really important. But what I'm, what I'm really excited about, Tony, is this. No one in our Aussie team because they left this morning. They did. And, and, Off and to the Worlds and good luck to them. Good luck to all of them. Um, but we've got out here, we've got uh, South Australia and Victoria, both full of a lot of first-timers playing for their prospective states. So it's That we have. And we're just about to uh, head out to uh, Mr. Peter Greedhouse, who will be announcing the teams and the officials onto the field. And uh, we can't wait to hear the dulcet tones of Mr. Peter Greenhouse, who's done a fantastic job here as the president of the uh, Sterling Lacrosse Club. And uh, as... Uh, the players and officials get ready for this one. We're going to hand over to Pete to get the proceedings for this national title underway. Let's hear Mr. Pete Greenhouse. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 2023 Senior Men's National Championship Grand final. Today we've got top seed South Australia playing against Victoria. It's my pleasure to introduce the officials for today's game. Head official David McRae. The other officials Luke Keesing, James Suffolk, Chief Bench Official Mitchell Wormsley and bench manager, Marty Baker. Starting with South Australia. Number two, Brody Nickel. Number three, Royal. Number five, Edison Pike. Number six, Daniel Evans. Number seven, number seven, Sean Philippa. Number eight, Tom Polden. Number nine, Ivan Siva Subramaniam. Number 13, Burton. 13, Noah Haskett. Number 14, Todd Bartlett. Number 15, Number 15, Clint Barker. Number 18, number 18, 
Come on. Number 18. Number 18, Henry Hass. Number 20, Cody Ross. Shane Weber. 22, Oliver Walsh. 23, Nathan Twisk. 24, Waller. 33, Jay. 33, Ben Newman, uh, Lewis King, 77, Garrett Briggs, and 8, Kieran, Kieran Sandow. Coaches, Mark Mangan, assistant coach, Tom Freeman, managers, and Training crew, Jeff and Ash. And for Victoria, far out. And Victoria, number one, Troy Butson. Number two, Dylan Harari. Number three, James Loyerson. Number four, Harry Gibson. Number six, Caleb Hall. Number eight, Marty Hyde. Number 11, Steven Stajokos. Number 12, Chris Plum. Number 13, River Bradley. Number 14, Tommy Mollison. Number 15, Shane Moak. Number 17, Sam Bunches. Number 18, Flynn Abram. Number 23, Aaron Aldred. Number 24, Harry Potocnik. Number 25, Ethan Buchanan. Number 32, Tim Dobson. Number 33, Lachlan Bown. Number 44, Brock Gawley. And 66, Alastair Glutney. Head coach, Lee Davis. Assistant coaches, Terry Sparks, Greg Mollison. Manager, Wayne Butson. Ladies and gentlemen, if you could please stand, take off any headwear for the National Anthem of Australia. Thank you very much to our MC, Mr. Peter Greenhouse, as the uh, teams just uh, get their gear on. And it's always stirring at that point, isn't it, uh, Marshy? You hear this no national anthem, you know you're in a big final. And uh, all the work's done for the coaches now. Well, it's not done yet. There's still an hour to go. And, they've, uh, you know, coaches can make a difference out there. But you're right, Tony. You stand out there and you listen to that national anthem. And, you know, we've all been there. And, you know... Something builds in your stomach, doesn't yeah, it? it you, does. know? you know, and you just get really excited for what's about to happen. So. That you do. And I tell you what, there's some people getting excited already for what's about to happen live on the Australian Lacrosse Network. Dean Borsarini says, go to SA, woohoo. 
And uh, you've got uh, Sarge. He's a, he was a long-term uh, Reds goalkeeper. And Sarge said, go SA Reds. Have a great call, TW. And, uh, and of course, Chris as well, because Chris is here with me. Pat McLean says, go Reds. So a bit of parochial SA support on the uh, line at the moment. I'm sure that'll turn around uh, Marshy and there'll be some... Vic get names coming through very shortly. Yeah, I'd like to uh, see all our uh, fans back there in Victoria. Just get online there, drop us uh, a shout out on the um, ALN uh, Facebook page there and um, give us your thoughts about how the game's going. Absolutely, and we'll try to get to as many as we can, but we will be concentrating on the uh, game at hand and what a game it should be. As I said, South Australia the other day got out to a fairly big lead at quarter, well not a big lead, but 3-1 in the context of the game and then just managed to put it away. Victoria coming back a bit later, uh, but uh, right now the uh, game is about to go towards the centre. We see Aldred in the middle up against uh, Garrett Briggs, and Garrett Briggs has been phenomenal all week in there, but Aldred certainly had his own. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's been doing all right in there, but you're right. Um, you know, Garrett, Garrett's, um, you know, He's got a lot of experience over the last couple of years in the US and college and stuff like that. So he's always going to be hard to beat. He's done a ripper job. But, um, you know, the Vicks should bring the wing play into it and it can change things up. Here we go. So we've got, so we've got uh, Tim Dobson in goals for Victoria. Who we got down there? We've got Watts down in, yeah, uh, for South Australia. Cody down in the South Australian. And netminders will be... Uh, they will be up and about. Aldred just uh, going about his work. But Briggs picks it up. Weber, here's a start for South Australia. Pushes it down. Fires nice. Dobson. There we go. It's always good to get into uh, the game early. Just drops the ball there. Good pick up. That's Looks come inside. Back. Bang! Garrett Briggs takes it out of the middle. Just a little fumble there from... Uh, and that's that pressure. But great save there from Dobson initially. Yeah, but, and you know, a, a really good save up, up high. By Tim, you know, he's looked for the outlet in Aldrin. He's just fumbled that ball and it's just come back and got him there. Um, they couldn't find the ball on the ground. So, and South Australia did. I also say, young Noah Haskett starting on the field for South Australia. What a great ground ball. Pick up and assist to feed to Briggs there, sitting open in the middle. And uh, South Australia, did the coaches write it up like that, uh, Marshy? Well, you know, people say that, uh, you know, it can be lucky or whatever, but you practice those things. Of course you do. You know, in, in training all the time. So... I say there's not. it's not a lot of luck in there. It's just hard work and training. All right. And uh, Weber taking the face off that time uh, with the long stick and uh, kicks it back to Watts. Watts, uh, as I said, his outlets, like Dobson, have been uh, the key to their games, haven't they? Apart yeah. from their saving, you've, you've, that's... Uh, but uh, they're certainly uh, good outlet players. And if they find those outlets, there's often a transition that uh, can occur from it. But uh, in no panic here whatsoever. And Cody just looking for the uh, one that will uh, open up. And there, oh, that's that's uh, just into the middle. That's not a great uh, outlet after talking Fighting it up. for it there on the ground and ball. ball back up into the air. Ball to be won. And that is one. Run by Jacob Newman. Just kicks it forward. Toddy just uh, with a, under a oh, massive great pressure. Check off the great red. check there. And uh, I tell you That's what, River Bradley come he, through there nicely, didn't well, he? He started where he finished yesterday, didn't he? Yeah, Brock Gourlay. Brock, Brock Gourlay there, putting the pressure on as well. Ball goes back to Tim Dobson now, and the Victoria will go through there, clear. Yep. Over to River Bradley. He's just going to run that over. And an offside here on Victoria as uh, we saw Troy Butts on the other side just sneak over, try to get away with that, but not with this amount of officials. Weber, he's a goal scorer in uh, South Australia with the long pole. There's not too many games he doesn't actually get a couple. So uh, you don't want him uh, transitioning the ball. We haven't seen much of that. For Lepper, down the bottom corner, and we see some subs come on. Nickel, just uh, up to Henry Haskett, who also has come back from the US and over in college. Yep. So uh, ball down the back here with uh, Evans. And South Australia going to their, their settled play now. They're six on six, going to drive the bottom corner. Up against a Good slide good there. Slide. But we've got to move the ball and if flip it. But he's got Bradley on him. Probably needed to uh, get to Haskett there to drive that one. And it might come back and be that here now. So as uh, Philippa gets through, Haskett. Been suffering with a bit of a hamstring issue, but good double there. Kicks back and Philippa. Looking to uh, drive and go left. Good. Gets inside Philippa. MVP yesterday. Nails a player and fried, but great uh, ground ball off his own stick. Looks up. Finds Haskett and Haskett back over to Evans. And a great ball movement there too by South Australia. So uh, ball down the back here. Edison Pike, been really good this week as well, Ed Pike. 
Looks inside. Oh, open man. And there it is, young Noah Haskett getting on the board there. He gave one away for the first one. And that time, Ed Pike just found him open in the middle. Let's have a look at the replay here, Chris, and uh, just see what happened there. Comes off. And just watch, the back. watch him dodge here. It's, his head's up all the time. He's looking for it oh, right from the start. Oh, just didn't go, did he? River? No, no. River was sort of almost ball watching a little bit there. And yep. Lefty on the right side to take the ball and put that away. But I like the I like the move from young Ed Pike there too. He's, he, he's heads up as he's driving, you know. He uh, doesn't put the head down and he's, he's just looking for what's up there. So, Which is why he nice played food. in that uh, under-20 Australian side over in Ireland. So 2-0 uh, here to South Australia. And, uh, well... If they can get another one, it's just how the how the women started with the three zero. And Garrett Briggs comes down, looks down, fires over the top, and Briggs again with another face off. They're going to have to combat that. As I said, the last one uh, they had was uh, Weber with a long stick in there, so obviously giving uh, Garrett a rest. But uh, I think Victoria would be the only one smiling at the moment if uh, Garrett's off the field in the face offs. Yeah, it's it's not a bad option if you've got someone else who can go out there. And you know, there's four quarters here. Long time um, in the game. You know, if you've if it's a close game in the fourth and you've got a fresher face off man. Well speaking um, of fresh faces, here's a couple. Caleb Hall played box together, kicks out the back to Pike. So Kieran Sandow and uh, Hall have played over in the world box together. So they'll they'll be well aware of each other's games. Ollie Walsh up the top here. Picks up uh, Harry Gibson. Harry Gibson Walsh just kicks the ball down, down the back. Sandow drives, looks inside. Oh, great to take there from Waller. And Jack Waller uh, thinking better of it. And a young player just pulling that out. Great, no angle. And allows Evans to get past. And Glutenay didn't get to him. Fires that one wide. And uh, Pete Greenhouse, not only is he on the microphone, he's everywhere. Stopping balls down the back there as well. Yeah, he's not doing too bad, is he? The, uh, that's a nice little um, pick there, play at the top. Just created that, you know, the free hands there. Only need half a step, and he's uh, able to get the shot off. The slide didn't come early enough, so. And uh, we get we get Evans up against Glutenay, who doesn't mind getting uh, getting a transition if he gets a chance, uh, Al. But uh, he told me he was going to score a goal this week, but I haven't seen it yet. I haven't seen one from him yet, but uh, game's still young. And Shawnee Aaron said we never want to see that, by the way. He said uh, one of his home... Uh, home growing uh, back in state league he said no nah, he's not allowed down there so walsh with the ball ollie walsh gets up above looks up the top finds evans evans out to walla walla drives open man fires and uh kieran sandow down the back there but hall wasn't far away he's well backed up too, good wasn't movement it? here from uh, sa managing to open up and find those uh, find those uh, shots at the moment so kieran sandow up against Gibson. That's a matchup. Bradley goes quickly, which actually leaves someone open. Sandow. He looks to fire. Oh, that one's just sneaked out the back. Good save there from Dobson as Hall picks the ball up and gives it to Dobson. So Dobson will reassess. And over the point chairs, and we'll see if uh, Vicks can clear through uh, without going offside this time. So Haskett up pressuring the defender. And just throws it away. Oh, that's a terrible pass. So that is that. That's not the clear the coach would be looking for early in the game. No, it was a bit. And came in. But South Australia into a fast transition here. But uh, Vic's got the numbers back. Kes Kes Ivan Siba Subramaniam, or came man for short, uh, is uh, the man who was right on that one. He just picked the ball up and said, "I'm gone." Yeah. Well. If the quicker you can get it down there, you know, if you can get a three-on-three three down in your attack, it's got a lot more space for you, isn't it? So South Australia through the stick of Philippa. Philippa down to Haskett. Haskett has one already. Philippa. Victoria, if they get an offensive set, we want a nice long offensive set because they've been playing a bit of defence at the moment. You, Jacob Newman, he knows this ground well. Just rolls. He, he's just... Uh, and doesn't hold know him well. He's yeah. obviously studied some tape because he knows he goes, uh, goes right. And they've uh, spent a bit of time with the Aussie squad together, those two as well. Yeah, and it was great defence by the shorty there too, just to hold him up. Made him move it on. He's done his job. Pike looks up, looks out. And uh, playing and a ball to be won. Looks up. Oh, looks down. Just popped. No damage done. Nearly pick off there. Now, can Victoria get a clear and have an offensive set here? Because uh, they haven't uh, managed too much time in their offensive end yet, uh, Marshy. No. But we look forward to see it when they do because they have some quality players down there who can certainly make a mark on the goal. 
Yeah, they certainly can, but, uh, you know, can't do anything if you don't have the ball down there. So they've so, got to get these shorties to the ball. So Plum picks up Pike. You'd want to, you'd want to Pikey down in the defensive end, I'd say. And he's he might have that with Chris and Plummy. Just, uh, but that's a terrible... Well, I was going to say, both goalkeepers wouldn't be happy with their first two outlets. No, Cody putting one up the middle. They've got it down there, and it's the uh, Victoria in their six-on-six six set now. And uh, they're just going to move it around the outside, make sure they've got the right personnel on the field. So Buchanan, get everyone a touch, get some offense down here. As uh, Plum picks the ball up, kicks it there to Gibson. And Gibson, picked up by Tommy Polden. Doesn't mind the transitioning. Plum against uh, Filippa. That's a good matchup. Sean actually just gets stepped past and stepped past again. And uh, fires over the top. That's more a, a possession shot, I'd say, from Plummy. Maybe. Not much angle, but uh, just swam uh, down the river with uh, Sean. He did. Um, it looks like uh, SA... Uh, Got the backup really... there. Okay, so it's been given to SA for the backup. Well, I don't know about that. But anyway, it's uh, they're on the officials. I would have thought to Victoria had the backup there. Although we did see that in the women's game where the shot came and the guy... And, they were out of bounds, so they can't be in the play for the of first on. So maybe. Don't you know never what know. happened down that back corner Cody there. Cody, outlet. Sean drops that, but there's back up there. And, uh, but, uh, Tommy Mollison's going to pick that up. Over. I mean, Sean should have uh, been able to take that one. South Australia definitely stepping out on their D at the start of this game. So They are indeed. So here we go. Newman, who does play reasonable defence. Uh, good double. And uh, just pulls out there. Thought Hall might have come back in the inside there. When his uh, opponent yeah, he thought better of it. He did. He he was outnumbered there, and uh, it's probably better to keep possession and uh, look for a better shot. And Butson, MVP from yesterday, and had a fantastic game. As we see, Customan just uh, running on the field, a little bit of pace there with the Potopnik. As uh, we see, Butson, he got one here yesterday like that, just pushed in, and managed to get one over the top. Little flip down the back there. No, didn't happen. Lorison's Steps around gone to Tommy and Morrison. And Morrison finishes low. on the bottom corner. That's a nice uh, little two-man game behind uh, there for Victoria. It's worked really well. So, And we'll have a great camera angle of this one, no doubt. You can see the slip happen here. Lorison Ball comes drives. down. Looks like he goes to flip. Not there, just flips. And, uh, yeah, look, that slide was very late from King down the back side there. Um, and on the board, and, and that's how easy lacrosse is sometimes. Just uh, redirect and uh, back you go. And it opens up. Yep, and that puts us to a 2-1 game. And Lorison, uh, you don't want to give him too many opportunities. I reckon he got 90-odd last year in State League, I believe. Uh, it was a few. <laughs> and, and he was telling me that there was two uh, forfeits as well, so he could have tippled the 100. It's been a long time since anyone's done that in State League. Ball down. Long in. And uh, Garrett Briggs just uh, wins that. And uh, he, he'll take pressure all day. The ball's on the ground, but recovered there nicely. Yep. So, uh, wins that. Obviously, uh, they've, they've talked about this face-off, and they've tried uh, Lockie Bowen in there. He did a good job then, Lockie. Won the ball, but uh, did uh, Briggs, but under plenty of pressure straight away from Bowen. So, a 2-1 game here. With about 2.40 to go in the first. Nickel just moves it down to uh, Bartlett. He's going to kick it behind. And ball down to uh, the outer side there. And Dan Evans just draws a crowd sometimes, Dan. He's hoping that he draws a crowd at the pub tonight. But uh, Toddy Bartlett, just uh, good work there from Gluten A. Got to watch that ward. Almost a little ward there from Toddy. And uh, Ed Pike finds himself up top. But uh, ball up the top here with Haskett. Haskett fires a lot, and uh, that one's just just high, high. There's a good save there by Dobson up high. So once again, Victoria going to see if they can uh, clear and see how South Australia ride. And coming down the back here is Bradley, just uh, drawing his player down the back. And he picks up uh, Brody Nickel, and just looking at uh, a match-up here. So... Uh, Haskett picking up Hall. Dobson up the middle. And they've uh, and Hall smart there taking the young Haskett. Wouldn't have played too much uh, defense down there. 
And he's going to have to uh, look. And Dobson heads down. He, he wants an outlet here. He wants an outlet. And over the top. And that's going to be a uh, Victorian ball. Good work there from Dobson. Hey. Eh? Wouldn't be too many times that he's found himself all the way up. Timmy Dobson, great job there. In all the years I've watched uh, Victorian lacrosse, that's the furthest down the field I've ever seen that man go. <laughs> so looks inside. Oh, just at the feet. Terrible pass. But yeah, well still recovered up. by uh, Mollison, Mollison there. So little, they're looking at these little uh, on the back cor on the corners here. Oh, that's man, not a good take. Man. And uh, it has been taken well. So an outlet here, Haskett. Is down here by himself. If he moves the ball on, needs to move the ball. But great job there from Tommy Mollison. Motors to get back down to Haskett. Uh, that was Harry Gibson went back down there. Oh, sorry, Gibson. My bad. He was moving that quickly. His number was blurring. <laughs> but as said, young Noah Haskett by himself on the back corner. If he looked up and given that pass. He was definitely open, but uh, anyway. Waller looks in, steps down, pops, puts, bang! Haskett, doesn't he like that? And he says, Timmy Dobson, you might have seen the other one, but I think the run down the field might have uh, just puffed you a little. He said, have a look at this one from this side. Yeah. And Henry Haskett gets on the board and uh, limited time in this uh, first quarter. So that's a huge uh, goal with about uh, nine, seconds. nine seconds to go in this yeah. quarter. And you see how far, and if you look at the lady circle there, and um, Henry was definitely probably two steps inside that, so I don't think yeah. the Vicks shouldn't be letting him. Uh, well, not you know, they could be a good guide. That's a guide. Yep. You know, and the defenders need to look at that, and they've got to step out above above that uh, arch. So about nine seconds to go. Briggs in the face. Can he get another one? He's good with this, Briggs. This would be a nail for South. For uh, or oh, just Evans just was shooting that before he had, and uh, no push. Looks up. Weber looks in the middle. Ball to be won. It is won by Butts, and Butts and goes long. Just a couple of seconds. Do Victoria now. have an opportunity here? And that one's just going to roll out of bounds. And SA, and that will finish the quarter with South Australia. And what is a fantastic game of lacrosse so far. The score doesn't belie the game at the moment. 3-1 with both sides having good opportunities. They both had... Um their fair share of the opportunities there, but I think the difference in that first quarter was just the uh, the, the simple mistakes. Yeah. I think Victoria, you know, bobbled a few out of the sticks, and South Australia were able to come up with it and get the transition and get the ball down there. So they, they probably had, you know, maybe 65, 70 percent of the balls being in uh, SA's half, half in their offensive half. Yeah, yeah absolutely. absolutely. And you always know. I mean, we've coached enough that the team that settles best in these often ends up winning games. You yeah. know, those early mo momentums. And we're just going to listen in to the South Australian uh, huddle here. All right. And you can just hear there the comment from SA. Ball movement, ball movement, ball movement. Absolutely. Which is what they've been doing well. And if, you, you know, if, you, if you're not making those uh, simple mistakes and, you know, the ball's not bobbling around and you're just really clean with your sticks that ball movement's going to shift the defense every day of the week which we've seen and we've seen those some of those people open up for the through passes and uh, what we might see what we might just have a look at is uh, maybe some goal scorers for the first quarter there was a couple there and uh, as they come up on the screen Chris I'll let you go with that yeah Ed Pike has uh, got, got himself an assist there Noah Haskett with two nice goals too Garrett Briggs who was uh just a, a ripper goal out of the uh, off a ground ball, and then Tommy Mollison coming around the uh, crease. Sorry, I reckon uh, Noah's getting uh, one. I think that Henry Haskett was the one that shot up the top there. So uh, just in case you see it on there, oh, so yeah. Henry Haskett with one. I mean, hey, Noah would be pretty happy with that though. <laughs> he would be, <laughs> but he'll, and, he'll claim them. He'll claim we've, them. We've put it up there. It must be true. Who would put two Haskets in the team anyway? Exactly hey? right. <laughs> So, uh, ball back to the centre. We see uh, SA shooting to the left of the screen. And I'm not sure if you noticed, Tony, Victoria haven't started with Plum in the attack line in the first quarter or the second quarter, so they're probably looking for uh, getting a uh, shorty matchup. And that's something that Garrett does occasionally, where he just flicks that ball out. He's so used to having Weber up the top. Hyde pops, and that's going to be SA ball. I mean, if that's on the cage, that's a good shot. But you've just got possession. You're 3-1 down. It's yep. the second quarter. You get to start it. And, and, uh, and really, he's taken a shot from the centre there. There was no South Australia off to the side here. He could have just taken a few more steps down there and had it, waited for a better opportunity. But And Cody's going, come on, Dumbo did it. Let me do it. He was off to the races there, was Cody. So 
So just look, setting up this uh, up this clear. Good work there. Hits Weber. Weber just flicks it forward. Good work there. If Kieran can pick it up, and eventually he does. And under pressure there from Bradley, and Bradley kicks it down there to Newman. And uh, ball out here with Evans now. So South Australia with an opportunity to try and just eke this score out just a little bit more. Uh, subs come on the bench, Pike down the back. Oh no, that was Newman moving like Pike down the back. Well, if you add the three and the two, he's number five. So uh, I'm gonna claim that uh, I wasn't wrong. And ball back up the top here. So Falefa with the ball. Gets down to Pike now. There we go. Pike kicks it across. And uh, back to Pikey. And he's going to have a go on. Uh, uh, down to Noah Haskett there. And out to Evans. Evans picked up by Glutenay. Look at this 666, number of the beast right there. And uh, it was a bit beastish as Falefa picks the ball up. Glutenay all over him. And Al doesn't leave you alone at all. But... Uh, I don't know, I'd, I'd, I'd say Sean would think this is a pretty okay matchup for uh, knowing Sean. He doesn't really care who's in front of him sometimes. Yeah, but Al's an experienced uh, defender. He'll, uh, he'll play his angles quite well and, you know, just has to delay and make sure the uh, ball gets moved on. He's done his job, so. Well, Sean just done a full lap. Kicks it to Haskett. Haskett had hole. That's Noah Haskett. And down the back here and kicks it, and he's picked up the shorty here. So the double's already there. Newman picks the ball up, thought better of it, kicks down the bottom, Haskett. This is Noah Haskett, steps in. Good oh, save good again save from Dobson. Dobson. And that's going to be a blue ball as oh, uh, good Butson. Up there. Good, good backup. Back up. And just like yesterday, Troy's going to try and run this out, I'd imagine. You know, he's uh, he's got some good speed on him. And so are these guys. So he's just pushing. Good work there from Pike, just flicks it inside. Ball to be won. Great pick up from Pike. He's got Sandow on. So an opportunity here with numbers. Looks up the top to Newman. Newman has a good shot on him, but thinks better. Down the bottom and finds Evans. And that's great transition ball. Yep. And we spoke about that earlier a bit with transition ball when we were off air. Just how important this transition was going to be. Yeah, I think you, you're going to, usually you're going to score more through your transitions than you are in your set plays anyway. And to turn the ball over where they did, and then they just had the numbers back and they... Uh, Victoria had struggled to uh, cover the fast break. So uh, and uh, Dan Evans with the uh, with the goal there from uh, an assist of Noah Haskett. And we're back to the centre. We're back to the centre, but good riding pressure out that outer side. Yep, both teams are setting up their rides well, but um, that was just great work by South Australia and Briggs. another win out of the centre. Or oh, just misses the handle. I don't think that is that going out. That's out. Okay, so the so the, the ground is uh, is uh, getting uh, firmer because those have been slowing up. But, they have uh, been earlier in the week. Uh, that probably would have stopped, but uh, <laughs> but right now the uh, the roll on the green is uh, about an extra two meters. We're going to say two meters. Okay. Yep. So uh, let's see what Vicks can do here to uh, get this ball out. And Dobson is he going to go coast to coast again? Uh, oh, he, he went mean, all the way down and he had a shot. Up. So like if they, if they're going to offer it to him, he's probably going to just keep going. Oh, I'm thinking they're almost baiting him here Yeah. to uh, go again. I don't know how many 100-metre sprints uh, Dobbo's done in the last little bit. But, uh, and here he know. goes. And just gives it up. And Pike puts him under pressure, kicks the Bradley with a long stick, Haskett. And one, no, offside there. And no one's come to him yet. No one's come to him. He's going to go. And save. And, and uh, we've that, got the backup. That's with going to be a red ball. Absolutely really? a red ball. He's closer. Even though he was out to the side, uh, I'd see it if you uh, had a crow's fly. That, uh, oh, Jacob uh, Newman. No, that's uh, not Jacob Newman. Just uh, flag on the play and uh, opportunity here as they drop the ball. Sorry, that, that was Henry was Haskett who was on the ground there. Great control on the ground. Yeah, he managed to keep uh, control of it. He had a player in that little outlet there. They managed to dump it and they just got it down there. But I didn't see what the... Uh, just uh, checking here. I think it might be a hold. Yeah, 30 second hold on uh, who's coming there. That is uh, Lockie Bowen. So Lockie, is that Lockie Bowen? He stepped on. That's going to be another penalty here. No, just uh, resetting yeah, yeah. the. It's River Bradley's going to see. And you know what? Good from the referees that they've sent the wrong player. 
yep. and he stepped to go back on, which would have been an illegal procedure. But you know what? Common sense in a game like this says get the right player off. Bradley's off. And uh, SA go into a man-up opportunity. So this is their first uh, real man-up well, opportunity. We've got Pike Peel and wheeling around the bottom corner there. So down the back here, looks up, looks, kicks the ball now. Evans down the bottom to Sandow. Sandow steps around. Oh, there's a good save by Dobson there. The pick up by Gourlay and gives it back to Dobson. And it's only a thick, it's 30 over the top he's So they're going to have to watch the box here. Caleb Hall's running it down. We've got Plum off the bench as well, cutting yeah, through the middle. But Caleb be. sees the numbers aren't there for Victoria. Just pulls it out. And uh, Victoria will get their uh, change up and a timeout. Timeout. There you go. With uh, about to 8.45. I mean, you get to a, to a half. Why not use one? You know if, what? If you don't use them, you lose them. Well, that way you get to uh, reset, get your offense in, in uh, that you want. Yep. And, uh, and I think that's a great timeout. Uh, by Coach Lee Davis there because, we, you know, they managed to hold him out on the man up. Uh, a great save by Dobson in the goals. We got possession. We got it over. Um, and why not tell everyone, take a deep breath. We, it scores only 4-1. Just going to make sure we have shot back up. Right. All those little things. We're in our wide twos. This is out of possession. Boy, there's another wrong about kicking around a couple of times. He's got to do the hard work up here, right? And just talking about that possession we were talking about, you know what, just get it down there, have some possession. You know, they've obviously been playing a wide set uh, and just a little bit of offense now. Try to uh, try to make this work. Yeah, and I don't mind that. I saw uh, SA seem to be stepping out a bit defensively. Yep. So, you know, they want to open Creates it up. Give yourself, yep, give yourself some uh, room there. You know, you can play a couple of two-man games when you've got those wide sets. So, uh, and online we've got Poppy... Mini saying, yay, Tim, obviously, from some of those saves. Bev Levy says, uh, just a few unforced errors being the difference in that 4-1. And uh, what else have we got? Shannon Oval, Oliver saying, another cracking final. This is what Lax is all about, Aussie Lax especially. And uh, good to see everyone live and free on the Australian Lacrosse Network. As uh, you see this wide set for Victoria. In their twos, they called it. And ball up the top here with Gibson. Over to Harari. Harari's uh, got a shorty match up here, so he might like his chances. Plum gets through. He's still pushing. And uh, Down good. to Mollison behind. Mollison's come in that bottom corner. Good work there from uh, Jacob Newman on the back corner, but Mollison certainly uh, just testing it out. And we see here Marty Hyde. This is where he was doing his best work yesterday on that back corner. Yep, and they just kick it around the top again. Harari's going to get through. Plum with the ball. Down the alley. Double come. Plum gets in. Good save there from Watt. Straight into his stick. They're the ones you do like as a keeper, don't you? Those one-on-ones. Yeah. And he did that in the first game against Victoria. Had a couple of key saves early in that. Uh, and he just says, let's just settle this down. Let's get a good uh, good clear here. It's really important, the keepers. You know, they save the ones they're meant to, plus one or two. They've done their job for the day, haven't they? Exactly. I mean, you, you look at that. Plum, well-known goal scorer at all levels, even to the world level. And a good save there from Cody Watts in the cage. And now he just needs to uh, find this outlet. He's so used to finding these uh, quick outlets uh, to club ball. South Australia using the box uh, there with, a, with a stepping on and off the field, trying to get uh, someone open. Well, they're just looking and he's here. Looking down Bang, field. Pike, good outlet. Under pressure. There's, oh, that's a flag there. So man down. He's going to be and he's for still a got push. Possession. Still got he's ball. Still pushing. Steps inside. Pike just flicks it out. Looks inside, pops up the top, another one, another flag down. Looks over to Noah Haskett. Haskett steps in, under pressure, and the ball's gone down. And the ball goes down, so we're going to have uh, two flags and, there. No, there's flags going everywhere. Oh, there we go. Hey, we don't like to see this, but you know what? There's passion out there. There's a lot of passion out it's there. It's South Australia, Victoria. What more would you expect? Yeah, 100%. And there'll be a few penalties out of this, I think. Couple well, of Victoria started with two. A couple of crocodiles at each other there from the last campaign. There is. So, Victoria starting with two. I'm just going to take a step out here to try and get the uh, penalty count on what we see here as they just settle it down. Noah Haskett coming up a bit sore there. Absolutely got nailed on the ground. And uh, don't we love lacrosse, especially big games. Okay, the so... The referee's having a good discussion about everything that's going on here. I saw hats going up. I saw... Yeah. I'll tell you what, the only thing everywhere. they didn't do, it looked like a full Monty skit right there. The only thing they didn't do was take pants and shirts off. I don't think they were far away from that. They weren't far off it. So we're just assessing the penalties. 
And, uh, well, we well, yeah. know that Victoria had two. There was a hold and a potential slash down the bottom corner, which was their first two. But what happened in the middle there? Will they forget all these? <laughs> yeah, was it a hold or an interference they're going to call when Pike hit the deck there? Yep. So, yep. Um, and then the slash down the bottom corner. But I'm not sure what they're going to decide what well, happened in the middle here. I'm going to say there was a retaliation for something that happened. Normally the retaliator gets caught, not the guy who perpetuates it. We we see that in all sport. Yep. But uh, they're having a real good talk about it, mate. We could have a three-two. Uh, we could have a three-two uh, zone down here. Who knows? Oh, it's interesting for the man down the other way. It, uh, I just don't know what they're going to call. I didn't see the right. replay on Let's it. Have a so. look. Let's have a look at the penalties. So, we have... We've got two Vicks in the box at the moment. Okay. So, simultaneous penalties. 4-4 four, four for a push. 1-5 cross-check. All right, so 5-5 five, five has an unsportsmanlike two one minutes. The cross check no, is no. a one and a one. Five red Sorry, has a five one. Sorry, five red has one and five five has one. one. Four, 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 four four has for the push. 30 seconds and 15 has one for the cross check. And, and an, one for and an, an unsportsmanlike. Unsportsman so he's got two like. minutes. So, so two, two minutes versus two and a half minutes, yep. which means South Australia will retain the ball with the more penalty or less penalty time on the clock. Uh, and that's where those little technicals come in handy, don't they? Yeah, it, mate, you, you know, there was, uh, there wasn't a great deal in it, but the boys are showing just a bit of passion, and, you know, I don't mind that at all. Yep, so South Australia should start with about a half a minute man up once these two uh, two penalties expire. So two one minutes to both sides and a 30 second on top of that to Victoria. So South Australia will start with the ball down in the bottom. With a four on four. A four on four, plenty of space, four on fours, uh, Marshy. Yeah, you'd, you'd just want to kick that ball around and just, uh, you'd, you'd want to find the right matchup, wouldn't you? Maybe get it to someone who's got a shorty defending and just... Uh, well, you know you're going to be shorty on longy, aren't you? Because there's not going to be any shorties out there at this well, point. Well, no, there's four longies out there. So That's what I'm saying. You're going to be shorty on longy. So just gotta uh, go. you just got to have a crack. And uh, Bradley, he'll pick up Dan Evans. So uh, Good to see there's no love lost between... Um, oh, the big V, mate. And Shea, the, uh, Shea, Shea Moat and... Um, and Ed Pike, the uh, well, former both, Williamstown. Both former uh, Williamstown, former Sharks. Former Sharks. Or Crocodiles, are they? Played a lot, a lot of lacrosse together, but uh, yep. that just shows, you know. Hey, once you step over the line, but I guarantee you they'll be having a beer tonight. Absolutely. Or a soft drink, just talking about this. Absolutely. And, uh, and you know, they'll be best mates again. So, ball down the back here. Kieran Sandow, he doesn't, he'll take pressure all day. Box player and looks down the back. Good cut, just uh, sets up. The first 30 is uh, released. So, uh, Caleb Hall coming on there. So that uh, puts the puts Vicks the Vicks man up. Man up, probably only for thirty seconds though. I think. Two, two. One, two, three. Yep, four. So man up here, or a Victoria even now. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And so all right. Really? Six on five. All right, and a timeout called. Timeout called to South Australia to stop that penalty clock. And I think it's going to be one minute of man up. Um, it... No, there should be. The sh uh, is it one minute man up? Yes, yes, because the fifth thirty gets there first. Gets, uh... So there's probably only thirty seconds to be honest in one of those. Because well, the minute, uh, 15, minute... 15, oh 15, no, 17 sorry, minutes. you got two. Yeah, sorry, two minutes. So yeah, so it's uh, it's, it's a man up opportunity, and and coaches using their timeouts perfectly in this situation yep well what have we got left we've got uh, just under six minutes to go second time out for South Australia there they'll just uh, reiterate their uh... and uh, great that the uh, SA and Victorian boys allow us to uh, just show a little bit of that coverage. Not, not many people get to see that no. if you don't play this beautiful sport of ours. Yep, and it's good to see they were talking about uh, what Victorian defence were going to do out there. So, so they're man up, they know they're all on the same page when they, when they run their set. And a couple of, uh, on the live stream, Alison Latch says, great commentary from the Marshy Lacks. Whoop, whoop. 
Hope I got that right, uh, Alison. Uh, nice feed, great finish. Noah, number six. Amber Gannett says, hey, Tony. Hi, Rabbit. Hope you're doing well. It's amazing when your stepdaughter's uh, watching. <laughs> so, uh, Somebody's ball, got to give you a shout-out. Someone's got to give you a shout-out. So, man-up opportunity here for uh, South the Australia. Behind. Ball up the top. Kicks it. Come, pops out here. And... Uh, Good intercept there. River Bradley would uh, just pluck that one straight out of the air, but uh, they're all over him. Well, we haven't he's seen... Just gotta uh, find, he's got to find someone, and it falls down. Oh, he's going to be called for a uh, slash here, I'd say. And both and two referees got it, so... It, uh, Is that uh, Waller with a, with a slash? Yep. So uh, they're going to be uh, in... They're probably... There's probably, probably 30 seconds. 30 seconds. Not even. So a... Hang on, we got two coming. Five on five. Oh, no. and, and that's been released that now. Just gets released. So man so up. Man up. So Victoria with an opportunity here with about six, oh, sorry, 4.48 440 to go. 40 and they've still got a man out, uh, uh, timeout as well. So, this, uh, so you'd hope Coach Lee Davis deciding not to use it. Well, I, I'd say if they score and they got and they got time, I reckon if they've got time, and uh, they're looking at that. They're just following that. Looking over the other side. Looks down. Fires. Watts. Oh, gets a piece. Goes right. And that's going to be an SA ball. Little tip off the stick there. And ball coming back through Watts. So, uh, I actually thought when that went out, Marty Hyde might have actually been the deepest there, even though he wasn't moving. So, yeah. But the ref, was, the ref was right on it. They are. Uh, and it's always an interesting call, isn't it? Because you, you can be down the other end and you go, hang on, he looked closest. He looked closest. And Cody just puts the ball back in the uh, in the cage, doing a bit of ring a ring a Rosie. And there it is, the box now and an outlet, and hits him nicely for Lepper. Good work there from the keeper from South Australia. A timely release of the penalty there. And an opportunity for some potential transition, and it just uh, peters out. And uh, really, really uh, good to see uh, everyone just take a breath. Yep. And uh, South Australia, they're just going to still fall do some one transition up. here. They've got the right personnel down. They'll set themselves up. So four one up, South Australia with about yeah. three minutes to go on the clock. And they're playing an open set as well. There's no one on the crease here for South Australia. So both states uh, opting for that uh, open set to start their six on six. Well, you think. Uh, the SA, oh, good burn there from Pike. Pike gets around, looks up the top. Haskett fires just to the left. He just hooked that a little, didn't he? And uh, I'll tell you what, that did hook. I've got some of them on my fishing line on the end of them, those ones. They hook like that. Yeah. So ball down the back. But we saw the pace there of Ed Pike. He He's got some motors, hasn't he? Got away from the shorty. They're, you know, they're looking to drive on these shorties, as they should be. I mean, if you're in offense, you don't want to go through the uh, experienced long sticks of, uh, of Victoria. Haskett yeah. again. Looks down, pops down, pops. Bang! <laughs> Top corner. That one broke the cookie jar. I tell you what, there's crumbs everywhere coming out of that cookie jar up the top shelf. And that has just uh, put a little bit of mess on the floor. Dan Evans. With an absolute ring dinger. Watch this one from behind. Pops, bang, top shelf. Not much space up there, uh, Marshy. He didn't have a lot of time to release the ball either, but he's just, you know, That's a two, good two, shot. two steps and let it go and hit the corner. And Dan Evans, tell you what, take the brush and uh, brush and... Uh, Takes it out, out to 5-1, one. Tony. And just uh, mop up those crumbs of the cookies because uh, that broke it open. And again, another opportunity here for SA. But they've, they've worked it out, not allowing him any space. There's about one and a half minutes to go. Ball to be one on the deck. Good work here from Bro Victoria. Gawley. Gawley. Come up with that, Great but he was stripped job. again. Just need to pick up a ground ball. They're fighting for it. Flicked out, goes backwards. And that's where you should go when you get in trouble in defense. Yep, it's all about possession, you know. Some people say, oh, get it down, get it down. But, you know. you man up down that way, aren't you? You've got to keep possession. When in trouble, go backwards because you're normally man up in a, in a defensive end. So why not utilise those uh, those numbers? Yep. Bradley with the ball just pops it over here. And here's Brock Gourlay. He He's going to bring it across. Well, they won't mind him. They won't mind him bringing, coming into offense. Jimmer gets it, and, and there's the there's timeout. There's that timeout you were talking about. Got one. May as well use it. So about uh, what is there on the clock? About, you reckon? Uh, about, about, a about a minute. About a minute. 
hey, you lose it if you don't use it. Correct, and that's the second one for uh, Team Victoria there. So. so two and a half, if you have just joined us, like uh, we had before, first ever lacrosse game someone watched last uh, game with the women. Yeah, right. It's a fair game to watch for your first uh, game. Yeah, if that's not inspiring, I don't know what is. Well, I don't think I'd be watching any other sport in the world right now, if it is. But uh, a couple of people online too. Let's give uh, a couple of shout-outs while we actually have an opportunity. Actually, no, we might just listen to Victoria quickly. Anyway, a couple of people online. Zach Tremlett says shout out to the commentary and to the refs. Yeah, huge shout out to the refs. Been doing a good job, the officials. Yeah, look, it's, um, I haven't seen anything that's. Um overtly bad by refereeing they've done a great job all week you yeah. know and today they're doing a really good job out there so you know they come together when you know there was all flags going everywhere and they talked it through tony and that's what's really important so they do and alan colwell says great to hear the dulcet to tones of tony watts well great to uh, see you online and dan bradley says these cookie jar metaphors are making me hungry well why wouldn't you be hungry for this sort of lacrosse and uh, victoria with about a minute to go Still really it. wide set but south australia pushing out on this too they're looking uh, to uh, find the matchup, and they think they've got him up the top here. So Butson against Philippa. Philippa, a reasonable defender with a short stick. He won't uh, give it up. That's going to be a hold. That's, that's going to be a penalty, and uh, that's going to be a ward as well. But no call. Oh. But they're going to have a uh, a man up opportunity now. Do they hold the ball here? 23 seconds to go. I think 30 I'll be, second penalty. You've got to go, don't you? Four one. Yeah. A little bit of momentum coming into uh, the halftime break. I'm not sure if you just want to. I'm not sure if you want to leave nine seconds. What you don't. What you don't want to do is turn the ball over here. Correct. So uh, you don't want the goalie with the ball in his stick, and uh, that's going to be a Victorian ball. That's good backup by Gibbo there. Great backup. And they another know, another they know, opportunity. They know they've got to push it. Yep. Yep. Kick it again. Looks down. Tommy Mollison. Down. Mollison. Buzzer. Well, needs not to far kick it. Needs going. to kick needs it. To move, move it. The move. Ball. Great work there. Looks down. Oh, great interception. Yeah. SA need to get the ball in their stick. Yeah. It's going to be a good work there. Plum picks up the ball. Do they have an opportunity here on the bell? No. Over the top. And doesn't Cody Watts give him a little bit? Marty Hyde. Cody Watts just says, Marty, you don't expect a better shot than that. And I think that was out of the stick, so we'll go to a face off. That it will. So uh, we are going to have a loose ball here. As that went out of bounds as the shot was had. And we'll just see that. But the Reds pump there. 5-1 first half. And I think if you're going to have those opportunities, and it really was. That was a great opportunity for Marty on that bottom oh. corner there. And he's just uh, let it go. Well, know. he goes high. You know, how many... You're a coach, Marshy. <laughs> how many times do people get in on and go high? Instead of going low, there's less to hit down there. Yeah. You know, or bait them low, go low, pop it. Maybe he's looking at... Uh, Highlight reel? What's he there uh, being <laughs> being a little vertically <laughs> true, challenged true. and thought maybe uh, going upstairs <laughs> yeah. might be the better option. Well, why not? You know what, when you're just under the bar. And it looks like uh, SA, true to form, warming up uh, Clint Barker here. So uh, Clint coming into the second half uh, at 5-1 up and... Uh, it's a uh, good, you know what, the game doesn't actually, the score doesn't actually belie the game at the moment. It's been a really good contest with good opportunities from both sides. But South Australia, I think, have just taken uh, taken the best of their opportunities. I, I think that's the difference, isn't it? The, um, you know, Victoria, have, uh, in that, especially in that second quarter, had a few uh, more opportunities, um, a couple of extra shots on goal, but uh, just couldn't find the net. So, you know, South Australia made the most of theirs. And 5-1 on the score lines, watch what's come out of it. And a couple of people online, I've, I'm just watching online. So they've, they've obviously seen something we haven't in one of those because another, someone else has come online and says, how is kicking someone on the ground not an expulsion? So didn't see that in the replay from us. That must have been in that contest down there. I mean, we're far away from it, but uh, second person to say that. Jeffrey Rudy says, can't, with, if you, can't win if you don't have the ball got to make each possession count now kane manick says let's go vix so jeffrey rudy one of our uh, jeff melsop yep. one of our aussie uh, sharks off uh, today 
Ah. So a bit of commentary from him. Nelson, he's a great man too, Melly. And yeah. uh, we wish him well, all the best. Uh, and he should be a coach one day. He makes a good statement, doesn't he? You he can't, does. can't win if you don't have the ball. I mean, he's stating the obvious, to be honest. But that's what we do as coaches. And um, he's, gonna, he's not going to like me for that. Uh, we might go through some goal scorers here. Do you want me to run through them? Yeah. Or you want to do it? I'll go through it. All right. So uh, on the Victorian side, we had Tommy Mollison with one. And, uh, oh, that was it. Okay, it feels like a bigger game than that. And on South Australia's side, we have Henry Haskett with one, Ed Pike with a, uh, an assist, Dan Evans now with two, and one that ripped the top corner in that quarter. Noah Haskett with one, and Garrett Briggs opened the uh, game up with one right in the crease. It is a 5-1 game here, but the one thing we know about these games is they are never over until that last two or three minutes or even less than that sometimes. And we know Victoria are going to come back, as we see here, a couple of uh, replays we see there. Ball kicked a wallet and bang, popped that one up. And didn't Henry Haskett like that? A little bit of selling on that. On the outer side here, we see Kieran come down, look inside, looks down. And this one here, Dan Evans just, uh, well, that was uh, compared to the last shot he had. was uh, yeah, quite That was an unsettled, unsettled one, wasn't it? It just got um, was, so a Evans turnover from River Bradley. Kicks the ball up here and uh, looks down again. And that's the one, Dan Evans. That was a on stick side high too. Yep. So it had, our camera picked that up better than uh, better than Timmy. But, uh, yeah, a couple of replays there. There's one thing to note there, too. I mean, South Australia have got uh, four different goal scorers there. Yep. Uh, it shows just shows that, you know, the ball they're moving. sharing the ball. And they're moving the ball, you know, and they're always looking for that extra pass. Um, they've been a lot cleaner with their sticks in this first half. So And that's what's going to make the difference in, you know, the end of the game. And you heard the coaches say that, too. So... So Fremo was out there, and that was his one word in that timeout when we came in on it. Just keep the ball movement, keep the movement, keep the movement. And they've certainly been doing that and uh, and keeping them uh, sort of not settled, which has allowed those those free shots. And uh, but Dobbo doing a great job in the cage too, just quietly. I mean, he's made some big saves. Yeah, there's been some, well, been good saves on both ends of the field, hasn't there? Yeah. Yep. So you know, what's he down here one on one with Plum, and he, he's plucked that one out of the air. So. You know, that, that's a great uh, save. We saw Chippy just warm up, and now Cody's back in warming up. So are they going to make a change here? Well, we'll have to wait, because that's those little things that, uh, that we see uh, in this game sometimes. But uh, Cody just uh, getting a couple. So probably just keep him guessing. And down the other end, uh, I haven't seen... Uh, did I see Steve warming up? He's certainly walking around there. I've... I think, yeah, and, uh, uh, Tim's still got his helmet and everything on there, so I'm not sure if they're going to make the change at that end either. Yeah, and and normally in the well, normally in championship games, you actually see the netminders stay most times, unless of course uh, there's something happening really bad to one of them um, or a penalty, which we saw the other day. Um, but uh, balls uh, as ten yeah. minute break and the Reds are up and about. It's always tough being a goalie, you know. You see them and two goalies in, when we've when they've yeah. got 19 players, and yep. you know, unfortunately, you know, sometimes someone misses out. Yeah, they do. But and, and that's the sport. But it's 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 not about. It's that team game, isn't it? It is. It's the team game. You so know. it's not about the individual. It's it's how does the team get across the line? Well, and without those players, they wouldn't be here at the end of the week. Correct. You know, so uh, they they all play big parts in these uh, games. As we see Victoria just up and about uh, as South Australia. Also get up and about. So what do Victoria have to do in this second half to, to, number one, get this deficit down, but get back in this game and put pressure on South Australia? I think, I think it's just tidy up those sticks. You know, um, every time they've created an opportunity, um, you know, they're in that wide set. They're moving it around. They're getting through and opening up the lanes and they're going down, but the ball's just bobbling out. Yeah. So I think if they can just hang on to that and move that ball cleanly, um, I think that's going to open up better opportunities um, to get the ball in. I think South Australia, is, you know, their sticks are much cleaner. Um, they've just got to keep doing what they're doing. And they've probably been like that all week, South Australia, cleaner sticks. We've seen Victoria early in the week. They would drop, I mean, I, I, Plummy's a great man. I love Plummy. Uh, but to see him drop balls early on, and I wasn't sure whether it was the weather or whatever, but I've never seen, you know, and I've been a part of him for a four years in this sort of Aussie in and out doing these things yep. and and you know the box tournament between him and uh, him and uh, Hawley and these guys in Victoria they dominated yeah. Victoria so uh, here we go but uh, back in offence and we're not seeing a goalie change here so what's staying in the cage yeah all and good Dobson so, staying uh, in for Victoria yep and Dobson so there you go so big game and uh, 
uh, Caleb Paul starting down uh, in, in defense. defense. Okay, so they must shorty. have two poles up on the wing. Yeah, one in the face and one in the on the wing. So uh, Holy and not a bad man to have down in the uh, defensive end. Yeah, played a fair bit of uh, Australian box lacrosse and uh, and and Australian lacrosse. So, yep. And I'm looking at where the uh... and ball had as Briggs brings the ball down and gets a release. Good You're looking ball. where the wing started there. Um... Tony. Yep, allowed. And the... <laughs> when, when your sentiments, um, you know, he's starting to get on top there, you've really got to bring your wings down to this defensive end and they've got to cut that off every time. Yeah, they absolutely they do. And you know where he's going. That's the thing. Yep. He's not as if he's going backwards. So so cut off that fasty, you know, put the pressure on because we saw some turnovers in that middle before on Garrett. Yeah. But South Australia now with an opportunity. But, and it, but even if you give it up backwards... It's it, better than losing it forwards. One hundred percent. So 100%. they really have to have a look at where they're lining up on those on those wings. And Jacob Newman got some wheels, and he takes Butson down to uh, an X position, and uh, Haskett. Also, they've gone into a yep a two one three at the moment. Just uh, just rolling out and allowing Kieran to do his work here. And that is on Lockie Bowen. But Bowen's been good. Kieran Sandow able to free the hands. Oh, the slower ball. Kieran Sandow. And I've nicknamed him uh, Marshy Silky. He, 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 well, he got Silky through there, didn't he? He just uh, found that gap between the defenders. Tucked the stick in. Well, just got off there, Lockie Bowen. Got top side. Was able to free the hand when he gets there. Yep. No slide coming as such. Kieran steps into the, into the hole. And it wasn't the quickest shot in the world. Well, it hit the hit the ground there and just lost all speed. And I think Dobson's just <laughs> lost all, all sight of it because it's just slowed down. But it hits the back of the net and doesn't matter how quick there's no speed gun on it. doesn't have to be over a certain amount of kilometres an hour. Just got to find that. And Kieran Sandow gets his first of the game. And South Australia just pushed this lead out just a little bit further. Not the way the Victorians would have wanted to start at the third quarter. And Briggs again under pressure goes out to the right. Look, they're locking off here as uh, ball is up and uh, ball to be won. Oh, nice little BTB there. It'll open up on the backside here. There's one out, low, one out. Oh, good work. Just uh, from young uh, Jack Waller, just turned a circle and everyone fell over. Or did yeah. you see the grass monster stick his hand up and grab, a, grab an ankle there? No, River Bradley just sort of thought he had the check in and uh, overcommitted and just couldn't pull up in time. So he's, and he's fallen over. But... He'll be right, he's back up and he's back into it here. Well, it's a soft ground to land on anyway, so. Yeah, across to Bartlett, kicks it over to Nickel. They're going to send it down the line here. And ball down the back here with Haskett. Haskett. Still playing an Jack open Waller. set here. And Jack Waller picks up Dylan Harari. Jack Waller, now the slide comes early. Oh, bang! Uh, Caleb Hall with the, plucked it out of nowhere. And Caleb Hall. He needs to watch himself, watch he's back. got three here. And uh, that's Caleb Hall all over, isn't it? Just as tough as nails, throws the ball up. And then Bunches is going to run onto that. Well, so he's put it well out in front there. And there's a, he's, they're all over in oh, there. Good. Look at that, three on oh, one. Oh, that might be a penalty there. No, yep, yeah, we're going to have a loose ball push here. Red's offside. Oh, okay. So nothing on the hit. Nothing on the hit, just with the, uh, just with the offside. And unsettled here. So, so Victoria. But South Australia are back. Got the numbers. So uh, ball down the back here with Hyde. And Plum out of the box. Well, Plum coming through that midfield, hopefully trying to pick up that shorty. And that's a great move because uh, they would have expected him to play in the offense. Ball down the back. King up against Hyde. Hyde falls over. But He's, uh, he falls over again. So I, Hyde looks over, kicks the other side, pushes in, pops down, looks, throws the ball up. Not a great pass, to be honest. And here we go. We've got Tommy Polden, who can move, just clearing space. Tommy Polden, shorty in his days, picks up Weber, looks the other side oh, That's off. an open man. That's not going out of bounds, though, so a ball to be won. Pikey straight through with it. Oh, look at Noah Haskett on the back corner. No one's picked him up yet. And there it is there. And uh, just get some settle here. Yeah. And you know what, I, as a coach, uh, Marshy, what I love to see? Those trailing longies wanting to get on the cage. If that tells you when a team's up. They were asking for it, weren't oh, they? I mean, yeah, you had uh, two longies there. Just uh, Weber and uh, and Polden getting up there. And as uh, Bartlett looks, kicks down, 
nice from Haskett. Just pops out. Just to, get those passes up. Just need to get some settle here a little, South Australia. Looks inside. Good work from uh, Nickel. And nice. Oh, and there's a uh, Nickel just uh, telling him all about it. And ball with River Bradley under pressure to SA guys. Just trying to clear space and they'll settle it down here. Kicks it back to Dobson. And Dobson. And don't you love it? The crowd gets up when these little bit of, you know, they're, they're really in the context of the game. Everyone's an official on the sidelines. Yeah, lines, they mate. are, aren't they? But uh, this is this is a championship final. You expect a little bit of uh, a little bit of a bruise at the end of the day. So Dobson kicks over to Philippa. Oh, sorry, to Bradley, and looks inside. Good movement there. Yeah, finds Buchanan. And uh, Buchanan just kicks the ball down. Down to Butson. Butson's. And going to drive here. I thought I saw a flag there, but uh, they've taken that flag away, have they? And not there it is. No, it's there. They called it for an offside, but there was definitely the players were onside this side, and the bench officials got this. The bench official definitely has this. So uh, there was three. There was two players stuck on the other, outer side there for a man up off. Like it was an offside this side, but uh, Dave thinking it was, but this guy here on the bench. Anyway, they'll sort it out. I would expect this penalty to be withdrawn. And, uh, and once, once again, it's good, it's good to see them. You know, they stop the clock. Let's bring it in. And they've given it the offside. So well, they, they've discussed it and they've come up with a, you know, <laughs> what they believe happened. So, Well, I was going to say the discussion was had from the bench that that was an offside. He asked the player, he asked the man whether the guy was on the other side there did step over. Dave has said yes, but he was looking this way. So anyway, you know what, 30 seconds, not a lifetime, and uh, Victoria with a, an opportunity to play man up lacrosse. They're running that little rotation again. And you see, over the top, over over the, on the bottom corner. The bottom oh, corner. just dropped the handle of the ball. Oh, and there you go. And that's uh, uh, interference that's there. That's probably a push, I reckon, on uh, number three. Yeah, it's a loose ball push loose there. That's going to stay with uh, Victoria. Yep. But uh, Haskett's released from the penalty box. And, so, uh, so even, I'll tell you what, uh, yeah, Larison on the bottom corner was shooting that before he even got within a metre of it. And you don't see that very often from a, a guy of the class of uh, Jim Larison. He normally would take that and be in the back of the net before you actually blinked your eyes. But uh, pressure is still out there. Harry Gibson. That's a nice little step there. Finds a good save man. again oh. from Watts. Big save on the crease again. And, South and an outlet here. So we see Jacob Newman running the field. Bradley comes to him. Oh, nice and just away by Bradley. It in, but ball to be won. Comes out the back. Or went the body instead of the uh, check. And just uh, held it up. Did Noah Haskett. And back to Timmy Dobson. And Victoria slow it down. And they got Gibbo in the centre there. No one on him. So he's just going to run that out. Well, that's probably the or. I was going to say, that was nearly the easiest clear he's had all day. Just dropped the ball just to get a bit of screen time for uh, himself. And Harry Gibson uh, had plenty, an extra two or three seconds of screen time. Loved it. Back into offense for uh, Victoria. So ball down the back. High, just trying to push him. Good work there from King. Up the top, fires, hits, um, and uh, Cody picks up the... Someone uh, uh, got scraps. a stick in the way there of that shot from Buchanan. Yeah, defenders uh, helping their goalie out down there. And uh, Walsh comes on the bench. Leper comes on the bench. Waller comes on the bench. As do Butson and uh, Flynn Abraham. It's still pretty hectic out there, Tony. Well, it doesn't give you much of a time to uh, take a breath in here, does it, uh, Marshy? You enjoying the commentary gig? Yeah, it's a bit of fun, isn't it? Why not? Just uh, supporting you, mate. Well, no, and it's great to be able to bring you live and free uh, lacrosse on the Australian Lacrosse Network. And uh, as we go to three-quarter time, we might send some shout-outs uh, for uh, everyone that put this together. And uh, at the moment, Ollie Walsh, pressure everywhere at the moment. Walsh picks it up, gets over. That's good hand to hang just, on to oh, that. Good look down the bottom, and that's going to be a... Uh, and uh, he's called a timeout. So he said that the ball was uh, in stick. Called the timeout. Whether it was or it wasn't, who knows? I'm not sure if the ball was in the stick or in flight there, but uh, it's been called the timeout. So. <laughs> and that's the one as a coach you don't want to get wrong yeah. with all the pressure that uh, has been put They've on. given it to Mango, and I think there was a flag there as well, was there? Yeah, I'm not sure. 
I saw it. I think a flag went on the far side, so we'll have to see what that is. Okay, so uh, we have. Uh, we might just listen in here. I like that slide, I like that slide, that's good. Now it's time. Oh yeah! Here we go, So we believe there was a, a flag on that play. Didn't see exactly what it was. But I'll tell you what, before we go there, there... There was maybe a late hit or a hold just yeah. to, at the at the top here. Before we go there, I'm going to send some shout outs and uh, the ALN would like to thank uh, Lacrosse Australia, the Sturt Lacrosse Club, the wonderful 3AM Web and IT, Kennedy Vinciulio, Carbine Industries, the Australian Sports Commission and Lacrosse South Australia for their efforts this week. And we'll have a bit more of a chat about uh, all of those uh, wonderful sponsors of the Australian Lacrosse Network and this tournament. Uh, when we get uh, to a bigger break, but uh, man up opportunity here for South Australia. Not sure whether it's a 30 or a one there. I didn't get that call, uh, Marshy. Yeah, I think they were saying a one over there. So we'll wait and see. Okay, but South Australia with a huge opportunity here. Currently 6-1. I said you wouldn't want to blow it out to a 7-1, would you? Because uh, that's a long way back for uh, a quarter and a half of lacrosse. There's Pikey peeling around the back there. They ball down the back. Here we go. Haskett. And they're just going to need to rotate the ball. We'll need to rotate one more. He's just kicked his stick out there. Fires, pops. Oh, and, and Dobson. Nice save by Dobson there. He's going to have to find the outlet. But South Australia have been riding really well. They have indeed. And uh, and Hawley must look up and go, does someone else want to do some of this work? Because uh, I'm running a lot down here. And uh, Hall don't want to give the flag away. So, uh, But he's got uh, through. I mean, what a great ball handler Caleb Hall is as uh, Kieran Sandow just uh, runs across. One more, one to go. So they're currently uh, even in the offensive end. So one to go to go. Yeah. And that man is Todd Bartlett who runs the uh, offense. And uh, into, into O goes Victoria. So they're going to have to start to push the cage a little Marty bit here. Marty it down to uh, Jimma behind. They're just going to wait. Yeah, penalty's been released. Penalty's released. So, so six, uh, six on, on six. six down there. And they're going to move it across the top. Victoria as well. They're playing a wide set here. Well, Butson got one right on the half time break yesterday just to spur this, and we saw what happened with that after that. And uh, flag and down, flag fires, going. Fox, and uh, just to the right. And Butson almost right on cue for us, uh, doing what he tried to do yesterday and put one away to even it up. But uh, man down opportunity here for Victoria. And I reckon that might be a one minute, was it? I, d I didn't say. Sorry, neither did I. And apologies for that. We, we, we're sort of just down behind the coach's box and occasionally the coaches, I don't know what they're doing, they're getting in our way. I mean, who do they think they are? <laughs> but uh, ball here, little little rotation. They'll look to do the same thing. Lorison waiting on that top bottom right corner. And oh, again. And again, again, again the... that's twice that they've uh, turned it away. He's... Uh, I tell you what, that's not the way Victoria drew that man up. No. So, but, uh, outlet coming on I the outside. I think it was the pass on that one, well and truly above Jimmer's uh, stick height. So, oh, there's an interference call. And, and a flag is flag down. For it. So, a uh, flag is on. And there we go. And Looks they, inside. Oh, he's, just, he's, he's actually lucky. Lucky he didn't well, I have got to say, Sean Philippa is actually lucky he didn't grab that because otherwise he yeah. might have uh, felt the freight train of Sammy Bunches coming the other way. And he's probably glad to uh, drop that one and just... And he's a big unit if he runs in. He's a young he's a young bloke, played in the Crocodiles, but uh, if he hits you, you stay in yeah, here. Especially under those circumstances. You turn blind into that. He's a solid lad. And uh, i tell you what, you wake it up going, why am I closed out of fashion? Yeah, exactly. But uh, ball with an opportunity here for South Australia. So penalty release for South Australia. 32nd penalty, obviously. The and one we missed. In there 3-3. Three, three, and then Pikey's going to wheel around. So um, they kick... And they're just looking to draw up here. Yep, they're so, just going to keep uh, it around. Just looking for these two on one opportunities. Down the bottom corner. Down the bottom. Oh, looks over the, the back open. corner. Not there. He's come out. So uh, keep kicking the ball. Looks. Oh, that's oh, a good tip. Went for tip. the through. Good for the tip. Through just pass. need to find some space now. There's still man up here. And, uh, and that's released. released. And uh, South Australia. Look down. Oh, here we go. Pike. Timmy Dobson on the corner. Picked up there. Oh, big crunch. Noah Haskett. Oh, oh Sammy have Bunches. some of that, boys. 
A little bit of freight train coming that way. And the ball is going to go to South Australia. But I'll tell you what, boys putting their bodies on the line here. Noah Haskett straight up. Fantastic uh, style of lacrosse. Yeah. The ball was going to go out off South Australia there, but it's just bounced <laughs> off uh, Boynches' helmet and it's gone out from there. So a bit what. unfortunate for uh, Sammy there. But great to see the intensity in this, uh, in this third term as uh, the uh, about two minutes to go in this, uh, in this quarter. And uh, South Australia just getting a little bit of a, a settle here. Yeah, Bartlett's coming off, so they're just going to change up their personnel here. And, and twisting. You know, the Vicks will be getting, uh, Vicks well, will be getting tired doing so much defence, so it's good, you know, South Australia using the bench. Well, I'm going to say that uh, Twisky haven't seen him much today. He's, he got a couple yesterday, uh, and, uh, but today just... Um, Hasn't seen much game time. Looks inside, oh, Pike. But we might see some now if he gets to step down. Has played over in the European Championships as Nathan Twisk. I think he went over with uh, or Hungary, maybe, or one of those. He's uh, family ties. So it's, good to, it's good to see a lot of our Australians getting overseas and, you know, just learning from uh, other countries. So one one twenty nine to go on the clock. Karen Sandow looks up, pops down, bang, go! Oh, there it is, Dan Evans has found his shooting range up the top there today. And that's, uh, I reckon, his third of the day. And that one there might just uh, put a little bit of a nail in this uh, game at the moment. As much yeah. as uh, we don't, you know, we want to see some close games, I'll tell you what, Dan Evans from that top point. And that's very similar to um, his shot earlier too. Absolutely. Just with that one step and he released from low to high. Yep. Hits the top corner. You know, and, you know, Pike come around, the I think it was Pike, he come around and just the, the, the double showed. Yep. Didn't commit all the way, but it was just enough to give, uh, give him enough to, the hands. To, to, to have a shot. And Garrett Briggs uh, heading down, looks up and uh, just takes it out. And there's, there's the smarts of Dan Evans, isn't it? You know what? We've just got a goal. We've got about 30 seconds to go as the clock as the clock is about to come on the field. so And, and again, Tony, you see the, the, the wing plays from Victoria there are, are way back in the offensive end. Like, yep. you know, you've, we've, we've, you've got to cut off that fast break. I mean, he didn't have a shot, yep. which was lucky, but he was certainly uh, pushing the offense. So gets inside, rolls around, need a shot here, steps up off the helmet again, picked up, looks down, don't want any penalties, kicks the ball down, uh, looks down, needs a shot here. Needs a shot or oh, no shot. And uh, right on the whistle there, gets the opportunity. Uh, and you've got to be careful with that one too once the whistle goes with that shot because you can get a one-minute unsportsmanlike yeah. for the shot after the siren on the keeper. Absolutely. If he let that go a bit harder and nailed the uh, goalie. And Victoria were looking. I mean, they asked the question. Well, if it... And if to it, the letter of the law. But it, it could have been there. It could have been there, but... Uh, and, then, and then Victoria would have started with the ball and a man up. So... Those little things, but uh, I mean, realistically, in the context of the game, yeah, we don't, you know, we don't want uh, some of those uh, ticky touchwood ones, uh, especially when there's not much. I mean, we did see one last year in the uh, in the nationals over in uh, in Footscray, where the ball got shot after, and they yeah, were, it, it was cold. Yep. So uh, you know, it does get cold. But uh, what have we got online here? Uh, uh, Chris Weber says, thank you so much for the ALN and all involved with the streaming and commentating for bringing the games to Boston and to the world. So uh, the Webber's over in Boston. Chris sent me a message last night and it's great to, uh, you know, see uh, or be able to bring the vision of his son playing in South Australian team uh, all the way to Boston. Oh, it's good to see. We've got people tuning in all around the world. We have. It's great. If you're, if you're not in Australia, you're tuning in from around the world, just drop us a... Drop us a message and we'll give you a shout out. Now, I don't know whether Campbell McKinnon's having a uh, ping here, but he says, is Aaron Aldred actually playing? <laughs> well, he said, is Aaron Aldred playing? Yes, he is. He's playing, uh, well, he's playing in the face, uh, Campbell. So, uh, but they've, they've think... managed to stick the poles in there. He's just getting beaten. Yeah, no, well, he, Aaron actually got injured a couple of days ago, so. Yep. John Safano says, come on, Vicks, believe in yourselves. We will need a massive effort in the final quarter to get back into the game. Shout out to you, John, and uh, the Safano's family. Harry Giannis says, live streaming it at the Woodside Hotel on the big screens. Good to see dominant display from SA Carnew West End boys. So uh, there you go. The whole pub's watching it up at the Woodside Hotel. 
Glad is we could bring it to you on the ALN. Maybe we should have uh, been set up there. Well, nothing wrong with that. We might go and see Has after. But uh, right here, Garrett Briggs just uh, protects it and uh, steps down, pops over the top. Possession shot from the uh, face-off player. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, That round arm shot's uh, not a high percentage type of shot, especially with these uh, face-off sticks. They, they warp them out and it makes it very difficult. And uh, Almost a turn over there, but a nice ground ball. Great ground ball there from Filippa. Filippa. He's, uh, he's good below his knees. And ball up the top. So, yeah, look, Vic are going to have to push out here if there are any chance whatsoever. And unfortunately, that does open up other opportunities. But, you know, you've got to... I mean, it's a championship final. You never know what can happen as Jacob Newman gets it up the back. And Heather Hazelgrove says great coverage sitting at Victor Harbour watching. So... Good that we're uh, getting around the uh, around the country. And a ball up the top. Evans, you don't want him to get the ball in that uh, area. Under pressure, got a double, just needs to get the ball out and away. Has a, oh, Evans did a great job. Bradley just give him one across there. Runs into, and he still keeps going down Evans. Ball down the back to Kieran Sandow. And he's going to call, what's he calling here? Has he called a flag here? I didn't see a flag go. Oh, he's oh, uh, dropped yeah. his glove. Okay, so, so let's stop play there with the equipment. Loose equipment. <laughs> okay, Dan Evans probably wringing his hand with that loose equipment too, just quietly. Uh, he's lucky he didn't get someone aiming for it. <laughs> yeah, well, I think I think they what well, they did the first time, <laughs> but good defense from uh, Victoria. Got to push out. SA just uh, with a really wide set here. Yep. And uh, ball. Lucky Bound's got to get off that crease. He's got to get out on his man. We're just, you know, you're 7 1 down. There's 13 to go. Yep. You've got to get out and have a crack because there's no difference between losing, you know, by 15 goals or losing by one. No. It's a, it's a national championship. Yep. And Kieran Sandow just back doors and there's another one. And that's going to be 8 1. And he gets and tells them all about it too, Kieran Sandow. And that's what happens over the wide set, isn't it? You chase people out. You're going to have those opportunities to, uh, to push back in. And, yeah. an, and another one there. For Absolutely, Sandow. but I mean, but you're right. I, the, You'd the rather lose. Have, they have to go out and have to have to have a crack at that. Of course they do. You, you can't just let them waltz around in, in a big wide set well, and and, and, and wait do nothing. seven minutes and get a stall on and they don't really care yep. and don't go to the cage. Have to. Not going to help them. You know, it's, uh, um, Garrett Briggs in the face. And it's that's what's not helping Vicks at the moment. Is Briggsy here? He's he's having a day, isn't he? Oh, he's, I tell you what, I wish I had a day like Garrett Briggs. Every maybe once in a millennium, if I had a game like uh, Briggsy. And we're going to... Oh, I thought they were going to blow an illegal, illegal face up there. Might be the way they win. One. Oh, he moved his hands there again. Yeah. Uh, uh, but Briggs, he moved his hands straight to the ball. Yep. And... Uh, There's just uh, another flip. possession. And uh, just nails him. Flags down there. So that's going to be an illegal body. Kicks in. Pops down and, uh, and wears one uh, there. So we're going to have a, an illegal body by the look of it there. Just hit him after he got rid of the ball. Illegal body or an interference? I'm not sure. Well, we'll see. Let's see what they're going to call on that. There was two two flags. They both went down. Illegal body for one. Yep. So. Yep. He got rid of the ball and, uh, you know, probably, it was... Coach Davis probably wouldn't be real happy with that sort of, you know, 12 minutes, 11 and a half to go. Well, now South Australia, number one. They can just kill Take minute. a minute off the clock. Uh, and they get to play a man up and if they hit another one, you know. But uh, I, I sort of expected this game to uh, just offensively be a, uh, a little uh, closer. Um, but South Australia, they certainly uh, come to play this week. Ball up the top here. Waller, he hasn't... Uh, and they put Stokos in the, uh, in in the, the goals. goals. Yep. So good, good to see Victoria do that. I mean, Dobbo's had a fantastic, uh, fantastic game. But, uh, you know, ball up the top. Evans just uh, threw it behind him there. Little flip and popped. And, uh, and you see the Vicks uh, well, defence now. They, they, you know, they're in and out and they're working hard. Yep. They probably needed a bit of that a, a bit earlier in this game. Yep. And just tries to pump the crease. And uh, ball to be one. And it see, is going to be uh, one. And there they go. But it's going out of bounds. It's off of a Victorian stick, but backed up by South Australia. So still man up, but they've wasted that minute. Caleb's coming in now. That's going to make it six... Oh, nice save too. Great save. There it is. Stoikos. Caleb's downfield. They've got a. They, oh, uh, just not a great, uh, not a great pass. He's got, the, he's got the run on though. If, he they, has uh, if they work it here, need to get on the hands. And uh, that one goes wide. Backed up by Victoria. Great back up. And numbers are there. So, uh, so they just need to settle. 
get the right personnel down there and then they've got to go to cage, Tony. Well, you know what? A goal a minute gets them uh, a win. It does. So uh, that's what, you know, but you've got to get one before you can then uh, get on. And they're just, but the problem is sometimes you try too hard in this situation. Weber not picking the ball up, but I tell you what, Jack Waller picked it up. And, and he's off to the races. Off. And look at Lewis King on the King, left there. Straight down the middle with the long pole. And that's not the one you throw it to. That's the <laughs> one you throw it to. <laughs> although, he wanted it though. Although Kingy, I mean, he might have been, uh, yeah, as uh, as the uh, legal procedure. On the, on the red on that one. So the ball's going back to the Vicks. Ethan Buchanan needs to get it down and get it to Troy Butson there. And ball back up the top. Marty Hyde. Marty Hyde up against Ryle Custerman. So uh, Marty, I'll, Marty's I'll, I'll forcing it here. Pressure. Good work. And uh, that's gone back past. That's a shot. And good work there from Red. Oh, that was very close. But ends up behind him. Gay man. Well, he's tried to force. Troy's got it there. Troy. And uh, that one's going to be a red ball. So uh, just stop there. Uh, if Tommy Mollison had actually kept moving there, he would probably would have... Uh, Probably would have, uh, and uh, ball comes over. They can waste as much time as they like down here at the moment. Yeah, and they've just, you and know, they, they send them, they're sending them down now to force the uh, ball upfield. And there's, and there's the a field. long bomb. Toddy had to uh, pick that one up. Oh, that's in the rear. Yep. But that's a loose ball, as he called that for in the rear. Push 30. I thought it was a loose ball. Well, that was ball. a loose ball. It so should have been maybe just a possession. That but... should be a possession. Uh, you know what? As a loose ball, that should just be a turnover, unless he did have it in his stick. I uh, I don't know. We were we were obscured by that. But uh, anyway, it's 30 seconds. 30 seconds for the Vicks to see if they can uh, get off uh, the score of one, Tony. Yeah, well, they'll want, they'll want to try and get off that score of one, but uh, South Australia... Certainly uh, working to uh, fire. Oh, nails a Haskett in the middle. And uh, Lewis King and Cody with the ball. And there's up the middle. And gets the ball out. So uh, oh good job there. And there's an overlap here. So Weber just uh, needed to uh, find the ball before he found anything. And uh, he's hit his River, own man. River Bradley's, he, look at this. And River Bradley, he doesn't mind uh, a shot. Kicks over it over to Loris and there's the a flag. flag down for an offside. And that ball is going out of bounds. And there's going to be an offside here, I'd say, on red. So another, uh, just a little bit scrappy here, Marshy, in the last two minutes. Bit of desperation. Seven, seven to go. Seven to go. And uh, an opportunity here for... Uh, for Victoria to run a man up for a 30 second. So Hyde kicks the ball down here to Mollison. Mollison down the bottom, kicks it to Buchanan. Buchanan just uh, running. They're just following their players, the uh, defense. And then they come off and look back down the top, looks down the bottom, just throws it away. And South Australia are going to, uh, and they've worked that really well, the defense of uh, SA. They've just gone with that. Uh, but uh, Weber needs to, uh, under massive pressure, just steps out, looks down. Great outlet there from Weber. Tell you what, there's a highlight for you, Chris, over in Boston. <laughs> and there we go. Goal on the board. Great look down, and Evans gets his fourth of the day. Tell you what, that outlet was as good as anyone from Weber on that back corner with under that sort of pressure with the long stick. He, uh, he got out of that two-man, uh, they were doubling him over there in that corner. He's just managed, and Pikey just popped up right in the middle for him. Yep. And he's just absolutely nailed him with that pass. And goalies have made a change here as well for the Reds. We see Clint Barker coming into the cage. and uh, But that was Dan Evans with his fourth of the day. And uh, with six minutes to go, made it 9-1. I think... Uh, I'll just say, if you're in town, go to the Marion Hotel. I reckon the uh, Reds, it might be a sea of down there. Briggs looks in, looks down, another one. Inside, oh, bang. Tic-tac-toe. And uh, good, and a flag after the play. So South Australia will potentially start with the ball here as Noah Haskett gets, an, gets another one. And uh, we probably will see a no face-off. One minute and uh, one minute yep. illegal body. Yep. 
And they've called it, so it's uh, SA to SA start with will the ball. start with the ball in the centre as well. So uh, Is that uh, 44, Brock Gawley? He's going to have a seat and think about that for a minute. Yep, and uh, Noah Haskett getting one in the first and uh, one in the last. So uh, Noah Haskett with the goal with that one. But that was great team play, wasn't it? Down, pop down, pops across, Haskett. And that probably rewarded him for yesterday. He could have had a shot yesterday late in the game and gave one to uh, Nickel. Yeah, well, but, South um, Australia have just been better at looking for that extra pass all day, haven't they? Yep. And we and that, as I said, that transition ball, you know, can uh, if you're clean with it, can really uh, kill a but, side but, off. But once again, Tony, I look back at uh, you know our wings uh, for the Victorians. They need to get. They need to stop that fast break. Yep. Yep. I mean, I think they've done a good job with uh, with in the centre. You know, with the long stick. And Lockie Bowen has done a fantastic job in that face. And he's been able to get him as we see uh, Alastair Glutenay try to keep it in, but uh, just pops over. Yeah, Lo Lockie's, um, you know, he, he is a long pole. He's not a centerman and he, he's been at it all day, just doing his absolute best in there. But if you're coming up with one of the best centermen in the country, then, well, you know, it's going to be tough. Isaacson trophy, isn't he? So you don't win that just for, uh, you know. Just being average. Yeah. So ball. Down on the ground. So Bartlett with the ball. Looks over. Kicks down to Walla. Walla just uh, yeah. fires. and uh, Another one of those hooks from the uh, right shooter and, position. And Steve Stoikos uh, trying to dive towards to be the first on. Three minutes, 23 in the fourth to go. South Australia look like they're going to uh, run out winners here in this uh, national championship. First time since 2014. And uh, Mark Mangan was also at the uh, helm of that or amongst that in 2014. And uh, I'll tell you what, long time between drinks, just quietly. Yep, a nice check there by River Bradley. He's just gonna hopefully go straight through that. There he goes, he's gonna run down. So Chippy, Chippy won't wanna see a shot here, will he? <laughs> just uh, just come in the cage. And that's uh, over to Gibbo. And uh, Plum's coming off the bench. 2.44 to go in the fourth. And they're gonna push here. Plum, just a, uh, Puts down, looks down, and again, that's probably that probably sums up the day, to yep. be honest. Just not clean, and steps, and got in. That ball's in. Royal Customer, he's got some pace. Looks down. That's Just a good a check by Bunches. Great uh, check there from Bunches. And, uh, and ball Harry to be Gibson's one. gonna come up with that, is he? And uh, it, he's looking for a man. He's got. Oh, he's good look knock down. for Plum in the, the centre, but it was. And Looks on the bottom. Pikey right Pikey, in the middle. Pikey, a little bit Behind his beat. back over to Boinches. <laughs> plucked that one out of the air. They're going to try and transition down. And might come back the other way. Great pick up from the pole in Polden. Nice little backspin there too. And uh, for Lepa, he'll just, want to, he'll just want to take some time out of this now. Kicks the ball over there to uh, Pikey. And back to the top. And... Uh, SA are probably just going to put a lot of air into this ball now. Absolutely. So, uh, not sure exactly how much time's left in the uh, in the quarter, but uh, we will uh, have a legal procedure on, on the red. red. Didn't see where that was. Okay, so four and a half minutes to go. Sorry, we uh, our, clocks were run just it a, down. our clocks were just a little wrong. A good from Chippy in the cage. One save, one shot. You know what? If you could say I saved it 100 percent in the national championship final, you'll take that every day of the week. And Clint Barker just been sent in and uh, gets a big save as well. And Chippy played plenty of these uh, state tournaments for South Australia. Oh, Flipper, great pickup. There's the ball, just set him up, bang. Little bit flicks out. Just a little bit messy here and there. And we've got offside, offside on, on the red. red. So uh, a turnover here. Mollison's got the ball, he's running down the centre. But the numbers are there. So ball with Plum. Plum with Plum it. will fire when he gets the opportunity. Heat. And that's going to be an SA ball. Oh, he's caught oh, it oh, I tell you what. Anyway. It's a call. We've seen it all day. They're in, they're in a better spot. So Victorian ball. Ball looks up, pops, and that's definitely a Victorian ball. There's no argument on that one, I Tony. mean, Troy Butson, he, he knew where that one was going. Down the back there. So Butson picked up Newman. Newman. 
Just not letting, oh, great trail check there from Jacob Newman. Ball on the ground, need to pick it up. Ground ball picked up, pops. Chippy, Chippy, good save. A nice little ground ball by Tom Wallace in there. He's just trying to get it back into the cage, but it just didn't have enough on it, so. And the shot. Chippy didn't know where that was coming. Yeah. So good work there from Button. And, uh, but. Point uh, needs to pick that up. Well, don't be scared of it. Just uh, run through it. Yep. Here we go. Just like that. Shane Moat. That's, that's how you, that's pick, how up you pick up a ground ball, isn't it? Uh, over to his uh, fellow teammate, Harry Gibson's going to run it down. And ball down the back here to Plum. Two and a half to go. Plum's Plum. just got round his man. Looking for the extra one. And that one's gone straight over the, the back. Well, there you go. And uh, in the crease is the call. So South Australia will uh, take the ball out here and just nothing going right for uh, the big V, unfortunately, uh, Marshy. You wouldn't have blamed Plum if he actually took that shot himself oh, there absolutely. instead of dumping that one. So, you know, yep. Yep. he's trying, trying to do the right thing and trying to get it to the man in the better position. Yep. And Twisky. And uh, you don't want to give any flags away here just quietly. I mean, ball. Oh, that's going to be a flag. There's a push. There it is. There's flags and Jacob everywhere. Newman. Oh, there's another one. Another one across the stomach, looks down, finds, and uh, finds the ground. That's Good. what we're going to... And Jacob Newman. He's feeling it. I'll tell you what, the internal icing you'll need for that one tonight with a uh, quiet uh, amber fluid, maybe. Good, uh, good work there from uh, young Jacob Newman. And South Australia are going to be in a man-up opportunity with uh, 1.47 to go on the clock. So, uh, ball with Bartlett. Bartlett just tries to beat Glutenay. Just uh, looks up. Just trying to rag the ball here. Uh, South Australia not, uh, not interested really in going to the cage. So, uh, Waller pops the ball out. Waits for him to come. Yeah, and there's no need for them to go to the cage at all. They just... Oh, but Briggs might. And Briggs does. Anyway, that one's just uh, filling up your own stocking, isn't it? Yeah, look. If you're winning the ball out of the centre, then I mean, just yeah. you can put it in there. You know what? He put that on his highlight reel, didn't he? I mean, there's a lot of people who might have turned out of that one at this score. <laughs> but hey, you know what? When they present, you got to take them. So, uh, and he gets bookends, one in the first and, and... One in the last. Well, he got the first. Maybe that's what he wanted, the last. And uh, I think he probably will. One in 20. So, uh, Lockie ball. Bowen back into the centre here. We've got uh, Newman as well. So, we've got two long poles going at it in the centre. <laughs> and you don't see that very often. So, two, two longies into the centre, taking face off. Specialists they are. Okay, Newman. Oh, this, is, this is just for pride now, isn't it? And oh, there's Caleb pride. Hall. Caleb Hall. Oh, and the push. And the flag, the flag is down. So, he's got a flag for the push. And Dave uh, got one for the rear. And uh, that one there will be on Jacob Newman. Jacob's a little bemused. But you know what? It's 30 seconds again. I'm, yeah, look, I'm not sure if uh, hey. he knew exactly who gave the push there, but yep. he's just chosen somebody to you sit. You know what? Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. But I tell you what, Caleb Hall, fantastic attack on the ball there. Yeah. To uh, to win that, and do uh, do Victoria have one here? No, they don't. Good save from Chippy. Little little bit of a you know, stick. Some some may have wide. called that a, a professional foul. Yes. With the push. Hundred <laughs> percent. Otherwise, he was going to keep on going. Yeah, he was. So uh, and Hyde with a uh, shot there. Little tip from uh, Clint Barker in the cage. So 53 seconds we're hearing to go. Man up, opportunity, Chris Plum, and Chippy says no, no, and uh, just not being the Vic stage today, is it? No, you know, you've got to have a winner and you've got to have a loser, Tony. And uh, ball up the top, ball to be won. Oh, great pickup from Falepa. Party tricks with the uh, ground ball, one hand, Indian pickup, and a flag here for... Uh, offside, uh, no, not offside. Well, it's going, to be, it's going to be blowing off here, and we've got so, a... Uh, I don't know, Tony. When was the last time you saw uh, Victoria held to one goal in a national I championship? I haven't. I not. If I had said to you before the tournament, what what the odds would you give me? I wouldn't have given you odds. You would have called me a flat earther. I would. I would. I'd say no. The the earth is flat. The earth is flat. That's it. <laughs> so. Yep. Well, 
you know what? And as I said, it's been it's been since 2014, and Vicks have had a good run. Not going to lie, but uh, South Australia just absolutely too strong this week, and they're going to run out winners as the ball goes up in the air, and eight about eight seconds to go. Bartlett looks up the top, kicks it to Twist. He's just going to hold it up. He's not going to send it anywhere. And there we go, South Australia, national champions. First time since 2014, and well done to those boys. They played strong all week. Uh, they went out there today and just gave it a bit of a masterclass, didn't they, really? The way they hung onto the ball, and it was a well-deserved win, mate. Yeah, absolutely. And kudos to uh, Victoria as well. Played a fantastic uh, team game this week. And just to make it to a championship final is hard enough sometimes. They're bloody hard to win, Marshy. Uh, they are very hard to win, and look at that. You've got the girls and you've got the boys, and there's going to be some celebrations tonight in the in the city of churches, I would imagine. Well, there's 24 years combined there between winning national titles as we see the uh, coaching staff and Mark Mangan just uh, taking his time to get out there. And uh, the girls are right behind it, and uh, I don't know. The Marion Hotel might be rocking tonight. Yeah, I'm not going there. <laughs> Well, I've you know, got, the... <laughs> I've got a long drive back. Uh, <laughs> you do sulk across the border back to Victoria, mate. All right. So while we while we are talking about uh, the uh, who have we got for MVP today? Great things. Oh, oh I don't know. I oh, Dan Evans for me has to put his hand up. Uh, look, Dan, Dan of Garrett Briggs in the centre. I think, mate. Um, I think Briggsy sets it up. Yeah. He, he gets you that possession. Um, so for me, a great effort out there. You know, probably one of the better performances at the Nationals I've seen by a sentiment in a, in a final. Yep. Um, so for me, yeah. And you'd, and you'd certainly think with one goal on the board, you'd almost be looking at a netminder, wouldn't you? But they're well, not, they, they, you know. They had their saves, had their but, saves but, I, but I, think, not, I think defensively. Not to the impact that the face-off guy yeah. had. Yeah. yeah, exactly right. And I think, you know, the, the, the six blokes in front of the netminder really supported that that score line so you know for me for victoria um i think caleb hall was tough all day yep. sammy punches was very good yep um you know we've got one goal scorer in tommy mollison uh coming around the crease there yep, yep. been good um you know, know harari troy butson did well all day again troy did well again today you know river bradley had a great day out there today um well yeah i mean the, the, the bit, for there a standout, was... who do we who do we look at for for Victoria? Well, I like Sammy Bunches, to be honest. But Timmy Dobson was good in the cage as well. You know, he, he held up a fair few attacks. He did, and he did have a shot. Yeah. I mean, not that that gets him across the line. I don't know. It's either that, or I think you got to go with either maybe Sammy or maybe for, for for Tommy for you know having a crack and getting at least that one on the board. You know, he was down in the attack all day today, and he was getting creative when they had the ball. Um, you know, uh, what about uh, uh, Lockie Bound? Had a, had a, he had in a crack. the centre, had a great you job. Know, things could have been worse. He, he You know, for, for a bloke who's not a sentiment, um, he, he kept going back out there. Um, he, he was doing his best. He, he wasn't expected to win. He was expected to delay, you know. Yep. Um, and, and I think he's done his job out there. So. And there's a great question being asked on the live stream. When was the last time, can we check the record books, that someone scored only one goal in a national final? I, I don't, not, I, in my, not in my knowledge of, over the time. Someone uh, somewhere out there. Some, someone we'll have out, a record book. Someone out there is going to get on the interweb and have a look at it. You know, like It is indeed. So uh, I can't remember. I don't think it's... It's probably never happened. So we might just uh, Firstly, listen in here. Uh, you guys, beautifully compared yesterday. We thought we had a game plan. Yeah, you know, we thought we were building through the week, but uh, it turned out to not be the case. So really well done, guys. Great effort. Way to keep playing it out. Way to keep fighting. Uh, best player today, number six, Dan Evans. Hey. Um, I just, no matter what happens in any situation when South Australia play Victoria, anything can happen. And I'm really happy that our blokes today 
and uh, and played a crack again. But as we Victorians never give up. So until that final whistle, so it's a you blokes MVP for Victoria today, Paul. So the MVP's there just being announced. Caleb Hall. Caleb Hall. Yeah, we said he did a, a truckload of work through. And the... his number on the other side, Dan Evans, number six. It was a day for the Sixers. And, and that's a great, uh, that's a great res, uh, result there too because I think he, he's, he ended up with three, I think, in the end. Yep. But but they were crucial moments in in the game. And, geez, they were good shots, weren't they? they were. Those low to highs hitting those corners. Those two in the top corner. That first one that broke the cookie jar up the top yep. was just a – that's a cracking shot. Yeah. And somebody asked online there, uh, when was the last time someone scored one goal in a national grand final? There was an under-18 tournament in 2019 where Victoria beat South Australia 19-1. Well, there you go. So that's probably the only other one. So that was... Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't remember. That's a big team I coach. So. That's a big... Yeah, there you go. So, were, you, uh, were you opposite me then, Tony? No. No, Mango was. No. Yeah. Mango was. He's so. got one back. He got one back. <laughs> but uh, So He's that, that answers that question. But yep. as far as senior nationals, I don't believe I, I've ever I, seen that. So. I can't remember a time that there wasn't, a, you know, at least a handful of goals from either side. But, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's certainly going to be one for the record books, whatever we do. Yep. And uh, I just want to say, Tony, it's been great this week. The Sturt Lacrosse Club, ALN, everyone's put on a fantastic show here. Um, you know... Yeah, I, love, I love the game. Uh, I didn't have any kids playing or anything like that. I just thought I'd drive over from, uh, from Victoria and join in here. And yep. just, I love the atmosphere of, you know, what lacrosse is all about. So yeah. congratulations to all you guys putting on a great show this week. It's well, it fantastic. is. And uh, we might go through some, uh, through some thank yous. Uh, the ALN obviously would like to thank Lacrosse Australia. I mean, without our, uh, our, our, our main uh, guys, uh, we don't play this great sport. So congratulations to Lacrosse Australia for putting on a great tournament. To the Sturt Lacrosse Club and the Women's Memorial playing fields as uh, the crowd, as the Reds go off down here, both yep. men and women. Uh, Sturt Lacrosse Club and all the volunteers through South Australia and lacrosse have done a fantastic job this week in bringing you these national championships under immensely trying conditions here. And we've had hail, we've had lightning, we've had thunder, we've had tents blown into the uh, thing. But you know what? They've done well to all of the staff and volunteers here for putting this on. To Peter Greenhouse, uh, outstanding from the Sturt Lacrosse Club and the Lacrosse Community of South Australia. To 3AM Web and IT, the man behind me who's just sitting here with his uh, on. That's the man you want to go and see if you need uh, web or IT services because uh, 3AM Web and IT, they will look after you just as they've been able to look after you by bringing this to you for the week. Gilly does a fantastic job. And, uh, and so does his bro down there. So get down and uh, support our Kennedy Venturia is uh, also one of our sponsors. And Tim Kennedy, uh, we can't forget Mr. Tim Kennedy. Mr. Tim Kennedy, couldn't get over here this week. No, he's the master. He's going over to San Diego. So yep. to TK, uh, mate, we send our love. Uh, we hope you uh, absolutely rip it up in uh, San Diego. Um, to Carbine Industries for our uh, scaffold for the week. And uh, we couldn't have brought the pictures to you without the uh, great work. To all our camera operators up there as well, fantastic. Pete, Did, behind the camera there, Pete, Pete. behind the camera, look at him. Just turn it around, Pete, show your own face. There you go, look at that. Might have been a bit close up, but who cares. Uh, to uh, the Australian Sports Commission, thank you so much. Without the Australian Sports Commission, we can't put these tournaments on. And uh, it's been fantastic. Obviously, it'll across South Australia as well. Uh, kudos to you for running a great tournament in South Australia. And we'll all agree that the Women's Memorial playing fields with the, uh, with the state government support yep. and the Australian Sports Commission have, have rebuilt this place. And it's, it's a great viewing facility. Yeah. Uh, and I think we go next over to uh, WA. So uh, potentially in 2024, we'll see you over in WA for the uh, national championships. Uh, to yourself, Marshy, thank you so much for uh, Mate, being a part of this. It's been a pleasure. It's been, you know, First time I've done, uh, joined the ALN team, so it's been great just to watch some really you know, fantastic lacrosse and yeah. congratulations to the South Australian men and women, um, you know, 2010 and then 2014. It's been, yeah. a, it's been a long time coming for them. So and I, think, uh, those, I hope they celebrate hard and long. Well, I'll tell you what, I don't think we'll see too many of them with a the public holiday here tomorrow that won't yep. be uh, up and about. And uh, as I said, I, I'd like to thank Scotty Gill 
obviously, for all the work he does behind the uh, scenes here. You don't see the early mornings, you don't see the late nights, you don't see the work that's being done behind to allow us to speak to Kate Hooper for uh, joining us today for the women's game. Uh, it was great to have her here with her insights from uh, WA, having played those, uh, those teams. Uh, to everyone that helps out here from the uh, Australian Lacrosse Network. And uh, we've got Worlds coming up very shortly from San Diego, so get tuned to ESPN, ESPN 1 and 2 over there. Uh, they will bring 42 games, I believe, to uh, us for the men's championships. And uh, we've got plenty of Aussie Sharks over there fighting to uh, bring a medal back. Uh, and I suppose other than that, uh, as we start to wrap it up here, from myself, Tony Watts, it's always an absolute pleasure to be able to bring you uh, live and free lacrosse on the Australian Lacrosse Network. And I tell you what, until the sticks are swinging in San Diego, we'll see you soon.